Andrew LaRocca has tried many types of therapy. He likes music and even tried surfing. Everything helps, but there is one activity that this Army veteran is, has really just embraced. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Spring Hill where a man fights pain with paint. Yeah, well. Good, man. You're right on target. Today's favorite color well. there you go. may be different than tomorrow's. So we open our fingers, right? Luckily, Andrew LaRocca yeah, love loves them all. Changed. Working with these warriors has changed my life. That's Craig Todd. It's been awesome. Andrew's art uh, teacher. Good. Push. Who mixes well hey. with his student. Pull. Uh. Push. Hey. Pull. Uh. For six years now. A great experience for me. Three times per month. The duo has created masterpieces. To be honest with you, I, I like them all. Too it's, many to count. This room has to make you smile. It, it does. Th this is like, I'm very proud of it. Why do you like art? Because it's painting. Andrew is an Army veteran who suffered a traumatic brain injury in a motorcycle accident in 2010. It was basically nonverbal when we started. Now he sings. He, can, he sings and talks. This is the way he builds back his brain. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to get into rhythm. So one stroke, and one color, uh, one connection at a time. Every brain injury is different. Positive thinking, positive reinforcement. It's everything. He's a painting machine, man. And machine. Yes, you are. 30 minutes okay. of hard work and another piece is do? complete. It's really awesome. By a veteran whose it's therapy has never been year. so beautiful. He, he's got so many of them to actually say, what's my favorite? Uh, I, I, that's a real tough one because they're all him, and that's what's so great about it. There are great paintings, and Andrew does his art therapy through an organization called Art Without Boundaries. And the program partners with the Wounded Warriors Project, and they help 500 veterans nationwide.